Understanding Encryption. In this lesson you will explore encryption, BitLocker, and file and folder compression. Here are the guiding questions for the section. What feature of Windows 7 allows you to secure your files on portable devices such as laptops? Within Windows can you encrypt and compress a file? How are encrypting file system keys protected? Encryption is the process of coding plain text to create ciphertext. Two types of encryption we're looking at. Symmetric key encryption, which uses the same key for encrypting and decrypting the information. There's public or asymmetric key encryption, which uses different keys for encrypting and decrypt decrypting the information. Public key encryption is used to perform the following functions. Encrypting symmetric secret keys to protect the keys during exchange over the network or while being used, stored, or cached by operating systems. Also used to create digital signatures to provide authentication and non-repudiation for online ent entities and for creating digital signatures to provide data integrity for electronic files and documents. EFS, or Encrypted File System, enables transparent encryption and decryption of files by using advanced, standard cryptographic algorithms. EFS isn't designed to protect data while it's transferred from one system to another. It does, doesn't occur at the application level, but at the file system level. Encryption and decryption is transparent to the user. EFS uses a symmetric key which itself is encrypted with a public key of a public key encryption pair. The private key must be available for the file to be decrypted. The key pair is bound to the user identity by the user ID and password. EFS, EFS keys can be archived and they're protected by the user's password. If you'd like to encrypt a file or folder, right click on the file or folder and select Properties. Select the General tab and then click the Advanced button. Select the Encrypt Contents to secure data checkbox and click OK. It's important to back up your encryption certificate. If you lose or damage your certificate or key, your data will be lost. Keep in mind that the volume that contains the data to be encrypted must be formatted using NTFS. FAT32 does not support encryption. Once the file or folder is encrypted, the file name color will change to green. If a folder is encrypted, any file moved to that folder will be encrypted as well. If you'd like to decrypt a file or folder, just right click on the file or folder to, and select Properties, go to the General tab and click Advanced and clear the encrypt contents uh, to secure data checkbox and click OK. Now normally you don't have to do this process if you're just opening a file or folder to view the contents as, lo as long as you're logged in with your credentials you'll be the uh, decryption process will take place automatically. You only select this option if you want to uh, decrypt it the file permanently. EFS works to encrypt files and folders individually. If you want to encrypt your whole volume, you want to use BitLocker. So BitLocker Drive Encryption is a data protection feature available in Windows 7 Ultimate and Enterprise Editions. There's a feature called BitLocker to go. You can use that to encrypt your portable storage devices such as your jump drives or USB external drives. BitLocker is installed automatically as part of the operating system. It's not enabled until it's turned on using the BitLocker setup. A trusted platform module or TPM is a special chip built into your motherboard on your uh, computer and it can be used with BitLocker to provide the most protection. The TPM is a hardware component installed with most newer computers. BitLocker can still be used on computers that do not have a TPM and it requires a USB startup key to start the computer. BitLocker offers the option to lock the normal startup process until a user supplies a personal identification number or inserts a removable device. To turn on BitLocker, click Start Control Panel, System and Security, and 
then and then BitLocker Drive encryption. Choose a drive to secure and click Turn on BitLocker. This will start the BitLocker setup wizard. Choose a method to unlock the drive either by a password or a smart card. Choose either to save the recovery key to a file or print it and click Start Encrypting. And here we can see a screenshot of drive E becoming encrypted. File compression on an operating system can be used to conserve disk space. However, it can also degrade your system's performance. For instance, when you move a compressed file to a different folder, the system decompresses the file, moves the file to a no new location, and then compresses it again. This happens both locally and across the network. This process utilizes a lot of your system resources and can slow down your system. Windows also supports compressing individual files as compressed folders or zip folders. All files and folders are compressed into a single file with the .zip extension. In order to compress a file or folder, you can right click on the folder or file and select Properties. Click the General tab and then click Advanced. Select Compress Contents to save disk space checkbox and click OK. Keep in mind you cannot compress and encrypt at the same time. You can only do one or the other. If you want to compress a file or folder to a zipped folder, simply right click on it and select Send To and then choose Compressed or Zipped Folder. Here are some questions I'd like you to discuss with your group. What file type or extension is a zipped folder? What is public key encryption? And what type of encryption does EFS use?